A bra gun holster? An electromagnet plus balls equals... Whoa. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. Touchscreens are okay, but how about touching a force field? Using infrared sensors, this multi-touch system allows a traditional monitor to be manipulated by hand and can also be suspended in air to control a screen from afar. Bosses can spy on their workers from afar with this telepresence balloon. This floating blimp shows a projection of a person's face. It's controlled remotely and broadcasts audio through a built-in speaker. If that wasn't weird enough, just hug a robot. Telenoid is another telepresence device, except it has facial expressions transmitted from the user through a webcam and facial recognition software. And don't worry, there's a handheld version. Uh... Bipedal robots are usually heavy and unstable, but Kermit here can hop. And that giant arm isn't being used to aid in the jumping, even though it looks like it. Humans can hop higher with the BOGO POGO, a redesigned pogo stick featuring a bow assist and aircraft grade aluminum. Here's an audio video illusion. The McGurk effect is a perceptual phenomenon which causes your vision to overmatch your hearing. The man says ba, but your eyes see fa, so you end up hearing fa. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my god. Now it's time for a giant crossbow slingshot. This thing shoots six steel balls simultaneously to thrash watermelon and wood boards. To learn how to MacGyver things for yourself, check out Mac Recipes, a website dedicated to every MacGyverism. But I'm still not sure how we turned that coffin into a jet ski. I'm also not sure how this helps you play basketball, but apparently a French team seems to think that it works. Converse made a huge mirror out of Chuck Taylors that works by mapping the user's movements and spinning the sneakers. Breakfast is said to be the most important meal of the day, so here it is floating in slow motion. But you might prefer eating 10 pounds of gummy bears that reenact your favorite classic video games like Breakout and Pac-Man. Finally, here's a reel of epic animatronics from John Nolan. Inside the greenhouse, there was a white house. Inside the white house, there was a red house. Inside the red house, there were a lot of babies. What is it? And now for the genius of the week. There are four video game references in this video, and there's one at facebook.com slash Vsauce Gaming. Find all five video game references and leave your answer in the comments below. The first person to do so correctly will be our genius of the week. Good luck, and as always, thanks for watching.